morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you this morning. Thank you for the organizer that have invited us to share our expertise in San Patrignano. I would like to start my presentation quoting um, a citation of the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon that is encouraging all the world to put the human beings at the very center of whatever we do. This is a very uh, strong encouragement that, of course, applied also to drug policies. San Patrignano is an NGO who was founded in 1978 in Italy, and it came um, as an answer to drug addiction. The founder, the name was Vincenzo Muccioli, was uh, a person who wanted to make change in the society. He saw the drug addicts because in late 70s, drug addiction in Italy was epidemic, and the drug addicts were abandoned, social marginalized, left alone. They were young people in needs, and nobody really knew what to do. So starting with these premises that he wanted to help, he opened up his arm and his family, and he brought the first girl and then the first boy back home with him and his family. And that was the very beginning of San Patrignano. Since then, a flat, a home was not enough, so they moved to this countryside on the top of the Rimini Hill, and they founded what San Patrignano is really now. In more than 35 years, we welcome 20,000 people. We offer them home, help, and really hope to rebuild their life. So our concept of recovery is a recovery that has some kind of clear pillar. The first pillar is care, because we see drug addicts like people who need care, who have lost their track in life, and they want a real change. So they are people in need, but they are people who have talent. So our mission is to empower them to find out their talents, find out what they are good for, and just rebuild their life. How are we going to do it? We do it through education and vocational training. In the community, they could go back to school, earning a degree, or they could learn a profession, something concrete that they will foster their chances of a successful social integration upon the completion of the program. And we do it for free. So nobody is paying for being in the program in San Patrignano because we feel like help and love are for free. You cannot put a price on that. Then our recovery is long term. It means three to four years. This is the time we spend in investing in people's life. Because when they come to us, they pass through the detox phase because our community is also a drug-free community, is residential. It means that the people are coming and staying with us, living like in a family, an extended family, because actually we are hosting more than 1,300 people. So it's really a huge community. But it has a structure, it has a daily life, everybody belongs to a group, they have a mentor. When they come to the community, they got twin matched with another guy who is in the program, is more advanced, and is taking care. So it's a kind of peer-to-peer -peer education where they can nurture their talent, they could find out what they want to do in life, and they have the time to go back to school, to learn a job, and prepare it for the social integration. The long term is an essential component of the long term success of the reintegration, because people who are coming from years of abuse, they need years to rebuild a life. And actually, what they're gonna do is really try to find out what is their place, and we provide them with the tools in order to do it. And of course, since it's peer-to-peer, -peer, it's based, the role of the example is very important. The one that are now the coordinators of the the, the workshop, they are the drag addicts that got rehabilitated and want to spend their life helping the others. So this peer-to-peer -peer component is essential because people who have been through drug addiction, they really know all the dark sides, all the challenges, and they are the living proof that it's possible to make it. So this is really important. Also, we take care of people with special needs. What do we mean for people with special needs? With people who need special attention, for example, mothers and fathers, 
it's very difficult to be a good parent when you are a drug addict. If you are coming out from drug addicts, you, you have to struggle your own battle, your own fight, and also take care of the kids. So we have structured a um, particular environment within the community, like the house for the mothers, because if a, a women are coming women are coming that are pregnant, so they need special care during the pregnancy, and then also the help of the educators and specialized help apart from the peer-to-peer -peer that is always there, but they need extra care because they are um, facing difficult challenges. And the father as well, because actually um, it comes that uh, there are families who are coming to San Patrignano, but then they get uh, their own path. So they got separated for the first time so that they can concentrate on their self and get in the, their lives, but still they need to interact with the child and create the motherhood and the fatherhood. Is very, um, it's a very challenging task, but we want to help them in doing that. But just to give you some figures, actually we have helped more than uh, 300, 2,000 women during all the year and uh, uh, the 70 percent of them are in their age, age 1930 and they are mothers so there is a strong need of helping young mothers with babies and to get rid of drug addiction and also another um, another uh, category we are working very much on are the minors since uh, at the very beginning of the community we have the house for um, male minors because um, Predominantly, drug addiction was a male problem. But throughout the years, the historical percentage it was 80% male, 20% women has changed. And now there are more and more women in need of care. So along with the house for male minor, we have recently built within the community also the house for female minors. Because the teenagers are more fragile, they need more a kind of cozy and home environment also within the community. So the, the program is going to be tailored in order to accommodate and provide the structure that they need. Of course, there is much more focus on education, even more. And when I speak about education, I speak about all levels. So uh, high school, uh, primary school, all the things are covered up to university. So it depends where they drop off, they can get back in and complete their degree and moving forward in the field they wish. Then we also take care of people in conflict with law because in Italy we have a legislation which is actually um, um, endorsing the alternative sentence to incarceration for people who have been uh, kept in prison for drug-related crimes. So it's possible that they, during their addiction they committed some kind of crime and instead of being kept in prison uh, due to their addiction problem, they can ask to go to treatment. So this is what we are doing. We are providing them with this opportunity. And uh, um, since uh, 1980, we actually substituted uh, 3,600 years of prison. We commuted that into therapeutic program. And uh, um, doing that, uh, our um, legal office is very active in promoting uh, this kind of alternatives because um, in Italy sometimes the, the, the length of the trial is very long so people could go to treatment even before going to prison and then they got the conviction and our legal office is really active in trying to uh, convert this conviction then in treatment in order to provide them the best opportunity to get reintegrated into society upon the completion of the program without needing to be back to prison, thanks to the legislation. So just to give you an idea, the legal office is dealing with uh, um, thousands of uh, processes and trials throughout the years, and. Um, just in uh, 2013, San Patrignano substituted 114 years of prison and saved to the Italian government 4 million years, uh, euros for um, the criminal detention cost that were converted into programs. So inside the um, community, we also take a lot of care of the health care of the residents because drug addiction comes sometimes with a lot of disease that are related to the abuse. So the hospital in San Patrignano was uh, built 
to respond to the uh, HIV epidemics in the late 80s because uh, at that time um, the control medicine and all the retroviral were not uh, so known, so uh, people really died because of HIV. So we need a structure to take good care of them. But throughout the years, um, the hospital concentrated more into uh, the drug-related disease like hepatitis C and, uh, and other, um, other diseases and offer really a good care. And now, in 2014, it has been also associated with uh, um, the general Italian health system, so it's possible for us also to take care of other people outside the community who need who need uh, medical assistance. So in, uh, in the slides you see some of the services that are offered within the, the hospital. Actually, um, when we speak about the drug-free approach, we do not distribute methadone because um, our approach is really a drug-free. We believe that the people could be empowered to live their life without any kind of drugs, so we are not supporting the substitution therapy. So if you just wonder why the hospital, the hospital is taking care of the other needs but not of distributing methadone. I want to make that clear. Um, we believe that methadone substitution could be a kind of first step to help the people getting into recovery. But what we believe in the long term, it will be the best things for the people, it's to get recovered. Of course, they need to get motivated into it. So they need a personal motivation to change their life because we are not able to change anybody's life if they are not really on board with it. But during the drug addiction, as during all the problems that might occur in life, there, is, there are always some opportunity and some moment where people realize that they cannot go on like that, that there is something else. So what we are showing them is there is another option and it's up to them to take it. So our success rate has been evaluated thanks to uh, independent follow-up research by the University of Bologna, Urbino and Pavia. It was a combined follow-up so not just using uh, uh, psychological questionnaires or uh, interviews, but it was done also with the toxicological hair stream um, analysis. So it was proven that 72% of the former residents who completed the program, in the long run, it means three to four years after finishing the program, they are still drug-free and socially reintegrated. You might wonder how we are surviving <laughs> because I say that nobody is paying for being in the program so neither the people, the recipient of the program nor their family nor the states. We are not getting taxpayer money. What we are doing is producing goods and services because all the vocational training or the majority of the vocational training has some outcomes. For example, um, we have uh, a cheese factory, we have graphic designers, we have artistical furniture, a decoration workshop where some kind of uh, top level, high quality, excellent goods are produced. You might wonder why we invest so much in quality and excellence. Because the quality of the goods that are produced reflect the quality and the excellence of the people who are producing them. So, um, having to deal with top quality things help to foster uh, self-confidence in their possibility and also in their future. So we invest very much in uh, showing the guys that it's possible to do the best, to aiming for the best and achieving the best. And the other 50% comes to fundraising, project, uh, uh, foundation, uh, individuals who want to sponsor our work. So just let me allow a bit uh, of a, a broader overview uh, about recovery because uh, um, sometimes there are um, political discussion why a member state, why a government, why states should invest in the recovery because uh, um, sometimes it's costly, it takes uh, long term, but uh, um, I really invite you to look into the cost of, uh, of drug addiction itself, which are costs that are not just covering up 
from the lack of productivity of the people, but there are also medical costs. Um, there are unintended consequences like uh, uh, mortality, uh, drug driving. All these uh, um, should be calculated. We need to put some figure in it because we really know that the long-term investment in saving people's life and getting them back into the society is a worth investment. But uh, um, we really call all uh, the states, all the government, to look at their own reality and really assess what the cost are. And they will see that whatever it looks maybe like uh, saving, cutting, budget, copy-paste, but there are people's lives. And uh, they deserve more, and they deserve the attention to really look into it and see what is best for them. So, we as San Patrignano um, open our door to the people who are interested in, in, uh, in getting to know more about our model. And actually, there are uh, two options I mentioned in the slide. One is to come and visit the community. We welcome delegation from country, from civil society organization, from around the world. So if you are really interested to get to know and to see our model with your eyes, you are, of course, welcome. And then there is a second opportunity that is uh, um, we, what we call the international workshop. It's one week, seven days of intensive training where you have lecture and you have also the opportunity to be in the workshop and leave the community, speaking with the guys, being into uh, our home and, and learn our model and so on. So I have with me some brochure that I'm going to leave outside the room so if anybody of you is interested, you can pick it up. I want to conclude my presentation with this close, close, uh, citation from Vincenzo Muccioli, that is the founder. Uh, some, there is not just one way to deal with drug addiction. San Patrignano is one way, is not the way. But in order for you to visualize a little bit more what San Patrignano is, I brought a video with me, which is showcasing a bit the history and the community as it is now. So I think we can see the video. Thank you.